Hi, 10th graders. You've been exploring the idea of literary text as social commentary. You've discovered that literary fiction can also be an argument. Today, you are going to analyze the rhetoric of the literary text, Chapter 14 of Upton Sinclair's The Jungle. Soapstone is an efficient way to analyze the rhetoric of any text. While you're looking at this chart, pay close attention to all of the bullet points that coincide with the question that is being asked. S stands for who is the speaker. Identify the speaker's age, gender, class, and education. The voice tells the story whose voice is being heard within the text. What can you tell or what do you know about the speaker helps you understand the point of view expressed. So S stands for speaker. O stands for occasion. A stands for audience. P stands for purpose. What is the purpose behind the text? Why did the author write it? S, subject. What is the topic, content, and ideas within the text? Lastly, tone. What is the attitude of the author? Is the author emotional, objective, neutral, and so on? Let's do the first one together. In literary fiction, the writer and speaker are two different beings. So while Sinclair is the writer, what do we know about the narrator? The speaker is an unknown third person narrator who is most likely expressing Sinclair's views. So who is the speaker? The narrator is unknown. We don't really know the age or gender. Whose voice is being heard within the text? It's assumed to be poor for the narrator has insight to the laborer's condition. What can you tell or what do you know about the speaker that helps you understand the point of view? The voice of the working class is being heard. So Sinclair's views are noted through the narrator's comments. Your task will be to complete your soapstone chart.